Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to an episode of Pat T's Performance. Today in the driveway, we have a Craftsman. This should be the Platinum Series, but it's not for some reason. Three in one, Honda powered GCV 161 mower that I've had for quite some time. I found it in the garbage on my way home from work. Now, it was in a not so nice area, so I just kind of threw it and went. So I'm kind of looking at this for the first time. That's missing, not a big deal. So this is pretty cool, the choke lever here. If this is working properly, Okay, so there it goes. It's a little stiff, right? As you hold down the cable, it's supposed to slide forward. Okay? Um, it's got a couple scratches. We'll take care of that. This is the only thing that I did. This was missing, and I just kind of threw this here. That's just to temporary to see if this one mower works. Because I have no idea why it's been put at the curb. Okay, look, and this is, it's missing here too. This is rear wheel drive. This is their easy walk. So this is Craftsman and everybody else's counteract per se, maybe to the total personal piece. Even though if you guys seen on my channel, I've done a my stride. Craftsman actually did a my stride, which is clear as day, their counter to the Toro Personal Pace lawnmower. So, I did cheat because I did bring it to work the next day to power wash it because it looked like doo-doo. Now, what's also wrong with this machine, even though it doesn't appear to be wrong, this here is the wrong cable which is probably why they didn't have, why I had to do this. So you see this gap here? Cable's supposed to go down, and there's supposed to be like a little plastic hose clamp that holds it down to the deck, and now there's a hole here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that, because look, it's clear as day that it sees right through. So when this thing is sucking up grass, where is the grass going to go? Up and out. And look, somebody's been in here already. See that? This is off. So I guess this gave them an issue. Or maybe they started to work on it and then they probably ordered the wrong cable. Okay? And they call the quits. Now, let's take a look at this blade. It's a nice lawnmower. It's, it's a nice, uh, it's got the deck spout. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, look at this belt. Belt is frayed, but we'll leave that. This blade is brand new, right? Yeah, this blade's brand new. I didn't do anything to it. I didn't sharpen it. I didn't paint it. But, well, it is so, so they put an edge on it. See how it's rusty? Huh. See? Variable speed transmission. Alright. The fuel is off. Let's turn that on. Yeah, that's on. So let's... Oh, this doesn't go all the way. Uh-oh. All right, let's see what works. Let's, let's stick that there. Let's give a minute for the fuel to get through. And just remember that this I just dragged out of the toolbox. This is not... This is just for testing purposes only. I am going to do something like this because this is the wrong cable. But I don't have a choice. I mean, I'm not going to put a cable on this. I'm going to, I'm going to make this work. So, let's see. Well, you know what? I just tipped the lawnmower over, so this thing 
is going to have, I can't tell how much oil is in it, because I don't have my uh, rag on me, but let's see. Oil's clean. What the hell? Oh, no, i got to watch my mouth. All right, pull cord. So just so the belt's a little fray. They were inside the carburetor because they broke that. Well, they broke. They mangled. They mangled this. So let's let's give it a pull. This kind of makes me nervous here. Right. Stay. Stay. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's get this back. All right. So I am going to zoom you in, per se. I'm going to get you down to, to, to a lower height. And no matter what the end result is, we're going to focus on this lever. Because that's a very key component of this engine, this Honda. Whew. Garbage find number two. Got compression. Pulling it nice and slow. I'm just gonna work the oil through the engine. This has been sitting. I'm just, I'm just working it. happens if you just spend an extra five minutes I mean listen you know that still backpack blower that I wanted to punt across the driveway I didn't have a choice to fix it because there's a lot of money tied up in it but I guess this guy did the work himself spent 20 bucks on a blade I don't know how much this cable is because it's wrong okay and I don't know oil five bucks you know so I think this guy was just at his wit's end. Did this... I don't think... You know what? Did this stick? No, it didn't stick. You know what? I'm busy. I'm focused on you guys. I wanted to watch this too. And... It retracted because... What's wrong with people? So, <clears throat> this also brings up another valid point, and we spoke about it on our live, and, and we'll talk about this again. <clears throat> we live in a throwaway society. This is the second lawnmower that I pulled out of the garbage or someone gave away for free in non running condition over something very stupid. Now, I will give this guy credit. Because he did the repair on his own. Oh. I'm seeing something else. This is missing. I'm sorry. There's a thing here that holds this up. You pull the handle and it releases it. And let's go take a look. I'll show you what I'm talking about because I just bought Yep, that's right. I bought a one mower with the Briggs on it. And it'll show you. Should have the same thing. I call it bagging assist. Yep, see that? It's missing this whole assembly right here. Okay. Yep, see that? Yeah, he didn't want to spend. See, everything is missing. So this guy, Fugazi did it. Okay. Yep. So 
So anyway, yeah, so that's that. So the guy ordered the wrong part. He cheaped out on it. And he just gave up. And all he had to do was throw a nut and bolt on there and call it a day. So now, we got to take this one. Make it right. Jesus. This is insane. But I don't know what I'm going to do about the holes in the deck. Do I leave it? Or do I put a nut and bolt in there with a washer and that and that'll cover the hole? I mean, I'm not cutting my grass anytime soon. So I can't test to see if stuff really flies out. But in theory, it should. I'm just wiping this down. I'm kind of prepping it for the paint. This thing is black, so guess what color? This whole thing is going to be black. This is the right color. The right color for sure. I don't know if I can bring this back to light. It's a little dark. But what I might do is because this might just come off. Right? Because everything has to match. I don't... I'm not gonna... I'm not going to put all four of these you know, on there. I don't have four. So what's gonna happen now I'm going to have to pull the wheels off, grind this down, and we're just going to freaking spray and pray. A little pan can Picasso. So let me get this off. This is being a little finicky. Where and where are you stuck? Yeah, right here. It's got a little booby. It's got a little nipple. A little tip. And that comes right off. All right, let me get the paint boot set up. Let's get these wheels off. They should be in 916. All right, guys, that's it. We are done. It's been a very long, successful day. Successful live. Okay. Mrs. Pat Taste Performance has all the Snap-on Milwaukee Lucas Oil Products Tool Giveaway wrapped up, packaged, ready to be dropped off at the post office. Sold a few things today. Happens to be more mowers, so we're running low, but got a couple of good ones. Be on the channel. Okay? And this thing. Tell me what you guys think. You Full. All right, so I did not respray the entire machine. All right, it's not necessary. It's crazy to do that. Nothing wrong with it. Just doesn't call for it. Okay. Once I put a coat of shine on it, it blends it. So it looks like it's all one color. And because it has a brand new blade, I don't have to do anything. Looks like this person did it all for me. All I have to do is take it down the rust. Um, you know what? I, I went through my toolbox. I couldn't find anything. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner. That is going to stay. And we're going to call it a day. Tell me what you guys think. Alright guys, if you guys found this video helpful... Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and guess what? I will see you on the next episode of Pat Taste Performance. And don't forget, the wife and I go live every Saturday morning, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Time. I'll see you guys there. Later.